Good evening, is this available? Yes it is. Please leave me alone, we are sleeping. No more contacting please. Thanks, appreciate. You contacted me. I know, I no longer interested. Please stop contacting me now. I will contact Attorney General if you do not stop. Thanks. Gosh, don't you hate it when you get a response from somebody? Oh, it's so annoying. Like, you know, I have to contact my Attorney General all the time. Sorry, Elise Archer. If you want to be my mum friend, you gotta vaccinate your kids. I would have sung that if I wasn't super self-conscious. Fine. I don't want your friendship. I only want my children around intelligent kids anyways. Not eczema, OCD, ADD, and the multiple spectrums of autism, including non-verbal. I think I'll be just fine. So will my healthy children. Look, I don't know how many times I gotta say this, but there is no link between vaccines and autism, OCD, ADD, and whatever else this person has said. We don't actually know what is causing autism and all these other things to rise, but the theory goes that it is simply due to the fact that, well, we're better at detecting this type of stuff, we're better at diagnosing this type of stuff, and not only that, this is gonna sound horrible, but like natural selection of humans is kind of not really a thing anymore. People get together, people make kids, so if you have a learning disability, and your partner has a learning disability, which neither of you two know about, you have a kid, your child might have a learning disability. Again, I'm not saying like this is a bad thing or whatever, you know, just had to say that because otherwise people would take that out of context. Atheists, if God isn't real, how do you explain walking on water? Can you walk on water like Jesus? Yes. Show me a video of you walking on water. I don't need to. You just need to have faith that I did. Can we like Photoshop on those like get wrecked glasses and like add some like air horns and like, like a giant sign that just says getting wrecked. I work in a pet store. A woman was looking at her betas and asked me whether one was male or female. I told her that they were all male, because they are. Our company only orders male betas. She looked at me incredulously and pointed at one and asked, even this one? And I was like, yes, why? It's pink though. Why is the male fish pink? I swear, she was borderline angry at me. I didn't even know how to explain that fish genetics don't adhere to human gender roles. But it's pink, and pink is a girl colour. So that fish must be a girl. <laughs> That's how that works. This this is just a mess. I feel your pain, Saro. Saria? I don't, I don't know. I feel it, comrade. White people have done everything to make my life miserable, yet I'm supposed to not hate white people. Oh my gosh, I was at the white people's meeting last week and your name came up and they were discussing our plans to make your life miserable. We were so afraid you'd blame yourself for your own fallings instead of us. It's so great to see that we're making a difference. Failings, I, I meant to say failings. I speak a de greater English, yeah. Mhm, mm yeah, I'm not from foreign land. I wish I was and I would have an excuse, but I'm not European so I don't have anything. Thank you everyone for all of your support. I'm so happy to say, after years of hard work, I have been accepted into Yale Med School. There's a long road ahead. Good job. Might I add a shout out to your white privilege for you? Lamau, you just have to insert your opinion everywhere. Just saying, you come from a white privilege background. You make it seem like you did it all yourself, but I'm just keeping things real by giving a nod to your privilege. Melissa, I grew up in a foster home. Both my parents were alcoholics and gave me up when I was five. I had to take care of my brother for two years until we got adopted. And then we were both abused by that family and had to go back into the orphanage for another two years. I spent long nights studying and working part-time in high school just to support myself and my brother. I was lucky enough to have good grades to get into a decent undergrad. After eight years of late nights, study groups, no dating, no partying, weekend studying, working and applying to scholarships and loans, I finally got accepted into my top choice. I understand the concept of privilege, but it sounds more like you are trying to condescend me rather than be helpful. Um, okay, sweetie, you claim to understand privilege, but you can't even self-crit. Bye. Well, congratulations to the person in red for uh, going out and getting yourself into Yale Med School. That is genuinely just an incredible accomplishment, and congratulations. That That's incredible. Yeah, Melissa sounds like a bit of a dick. 
So yeah. Racism has nothing to do with race. Racism is just the progressive left crying out for attention. If you disagree with the progressive left, they consider you a racist. They are desperate to hold on to that black vote. This is the stupidest thing I've ever read. And I have read a lot of stupid things. Jesus Christ. Top home remedies for snake bite, copperhead. Let me just start off by reminding everyone of our group's rules. Do not recommend doctors slash ER slash hospital. It will have you removed from the group. This is for homeopathic and natural solutions. Oh, disregard that stupidest thing ever read comment from the post before. This, this pretty much matches it. I'm running stop signs safely as usual. But today everyone feels the need to honk at me. Like, yes, I know WTF I'm doing. Okay, first off, you're using your phone while driving. That is very dangerous. That is, Jesus, no. And then having the irony of using your phone while driving to post about the fact that you break the law is just, oh boy, oh boy. I, does it get much more dumber than this? I really hope not. I really, really hope not. Oh god, can we just get on to the next one, please? If humans are finding my bones, then how did I turn into oil? Never I have ever believed dinosaurs were real. I thought they were full of crap when they were teaching about them in school. Oh boy, you're gonna get me to rant because I'm already in a horrible mood. Okay, fossils are usually formed when the animal dies in like a wet environment, so like mud or underwater, and then they get buried in the mud, right? So the natural decomposition gets rid of like the soft tissues and stuff like that, and then over time the bones slowly get coated in sediments and that turns into hard rock. And then eventually the bones inside of it decompose and then gets replaced with minerals and bone or whatever, what, whatever, whatever. Also, just like in Jurassic Park, you, you do get those little bugs embedded in, uh, in like tree sap. That's how fossilization works, okay? Now, although dinosaurs could be turned into oil, very, very little amount of dinosaurs died in the right conditions where they would be put in the right position to be made into oil. Uh, oil is formed uh, when fossils are put under immense pressure and heat and it creates oil. I don't know the exact process, I'm, I'm no genius. But it requires two processes that fossilization itself doesn't need, okay? And to my knowledge, most fossil fuels are created from plants, not dinosaurs. Because dinosaurs would have contributed very, 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 very little. Rant over. And so is this video, because quite honestly, this is enough. Okay, this is enough. There is about seven and a half minutes of audio recorded. That should be okay. I've... I've... <laughs> I can't do it anymore. It's giving me a headache. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. I've got a Twitch link down below. I've got a Patreon link down below. Uh, yeah, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Discord server, all down below. So yeah, go check it out. But yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.